Welcome Scorpio, this is your mid-month tarot forecast for December 2023. It is a general reading, so it's trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. Big welcome to those that are new to my channel. Now we do have a competition running again this month, so if you want to go into the draw to win this beautiful pendant necklace, it's got a gorgeous stone pendant on the end, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel. Pop a comment down below, you want to win this prize, you'll go into the draw. There's also a personal reading up for grabs with me. 45 minute pre recorded personal reading. I'll be looking for a very positive community member. Also, just let me know in the comments down below you want to win that prize. Now, winners for last month have not yet claimed their prizes. So, the winner of the wrap bracelet was Kate Elson. The winner of the personal reading was Nicolette Nemdali. So, both those names are down below. Uh, do get in touch via email. In the All the details are down below, as I just mentioned, uh, to claim your prize. All right, let's dive in, my love. So, Using a couple of different decks today. I'm going to be pulling you an opening energy from the beautiful uh, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle. Let's see what you need to know, Scorpio. Oh, you pulled the Ice Queen. She's actually laying down in the snow mm -hmm, or on the ice, which is all about taking non action, particularly around your ideas. So, possibly watch for divine timing. Let's pull you up the guidance. 28 actually represents justice, by the way. Says Scorpio. The Ice Queen has come to block your movement for your highest good. Let your ideas be preserved until later. You can thaw them out and use them at another time when they will best serve. The realm of the Ice Queen is a place of non-action and now is the perfect time to take a look at how far you've come and ask yourself for re-clarification of your highest goals. Not all your plans can be accomplished at this time. In fact, putting them on ice allows for the perfect timing later on. Don't be too hasty in trying to reach your goal. An even better one will present itself if you surrender and spend the winter with the Ice Queen. Now, if you're in the summer, just you know, take that as you will. Perhaps you're trying to do too many things at once. It's a good time to choose only one thing to focus on and let the ice queen put the others in deep freeze until a more appropriate time she'll let you know when that time is ready to let them thaw so there's certainly a divine plan playing out in your life right now you're trying to do too much or you're trying to push forward with things when you're not ready just creating unnecessary stress within self um, i would suggest to you the fact that we're in the period of holiday time coming up is that you actually just need to relax, my loves, and unwind and spend time with family and friends and focus on yourself. Do whatever you can on this. It feels like there's one thing you should be working on right now. You know what that thing is, yeah? And leave the rest until the new year, I'm going to suggest to you. I mean, conscious choice, always up to you. All right, we're going to be looking at predictions with the uh, Angel Wisdom Tarot. First up, let's have a look at the situation. No, you've got the seven of water or the seven of cups, which there's a choice to make. You've got lots of options in front of you right now. So seeking clarity on things you may be procrastinating about, possibly overthinking about your options. Let's have a look at the challenge. Mm, again, spirit saying your ideas need refinement. So double message there. Um and there's a butterfly sitting on his shoulder. So there's certainly the potential for growth. But whatever you're trying to create, you haven't got it quite into either the right form it needs to be on to hit your mark. There's something around it that you need to improve or make better. All right, let's have a look at the basis of the situation. Mm, there's some of you working too hard. So you need to take a break, darlings, and balance your energy. You're trying to force something to happen that's not quite ready to happen in terms of timing or it needs to be improved a bit or refined, yeah. Let's have a look at the recent past. In the recent past, you got the Queen of Air. So cutting through things that no longer serve you, distractions, people, situations, which is a very positive thing to do. Let's have a look at the present. I just want to flip out. Clear guidance, please. Thank you. Oh, this is beautiful. You've got the Queen of Fire. So feeling very confident, talented, brilliant, nothing that you can't do. The possibilities are uh, limitless. Mm -hmm. 
Um, it does say there needs to be more balance between your personal life and your career. Let's have a look at the near future. In the near future, you've got something fast rushing in. Mm -hmm. What's rushing in? Oh, you've got the Ten of Cups. Beautiful, happy family, gorgeous couple, marriage, home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, that might be unexpected or some of you may be expecting it. Let's have a look at your energy in the situation. Oh, you're juggling again. You're juggling so much. Um, coins and clocks. So money and time you're juggling right now. This is why you need to pause, darlings. You're trying too hard. Oh, are you ready? I might suggest you go and buy a lotto ticket for Christmas. Oh, you've got a windfall of abundance coming in. It's going to help you buy a new home, a new car. Or a lucrative contract offer that's going to bring a lot more money into your life. Mm -hmm. So why are you juggling and tossing things up in the air like a crazy person? Spirit's saying, would you calm down? Because we're trying to send you this, which you don't even have to work for. Scorpio. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look at the energy of people around you. Oh, you've got somebody stuck in their ego. Um, so they need to release the ego side. Whoever you're connecting with, you might know who it is. Uh -huh. Could have some unhealthy habits going on. Somebody around you feeling stuck. They're going through a period of transformation, which they won't go through unless they release themselves from feeling stuck. Mm. There's an amazing opportunity coming in. For this person, or if you want to switch it to your energy, then there's something holding you back. Um, spirit's trying to push you forward. There is an opportunity coming in. All right, let's have a look at your hopes and fears. Mm, you got the opportunity to partner up with others on a shared goal and vision around career and business. You got the, are they holding the world in their hands? All right, let's have a look at the outcome. Well, you got the High Priestess, which is this beautiful ancient wisdom within you, ta doing your spiritual practices, leading from a place of higher consciousness. There is a bit of a battle between the root chakra going on here and your higher states of consciousness because you're overdoing it way too much, trying to push an idea that's not really percolating. It's not flowing for you like it feels like it should be. Yeah. All right, let's pull you some clarifiers with the Muse Tarot. Let's have a look at the center here where there's either a choice to make or a spirit saying you need to refine the ideas or you're working on right now. Oh, whilst you're doing that, there's a soulmate coming in. Mm -hmm. Yep, whilst you're busy on your plans, darlings, there's a soulmate coming in. Let's have a look at you working too hard. <laughs> Oh, you got the ace of voices. Spirit saying you need to see the truth in situations. There's an owl there. So you need to really listen to yourself. Any other guidance? Mm. You got the page of materials. Things are in progress. They're not there yet, darling. So don't get frustrated by that, particularly the timing of things. You've got the queen of materials. You're so capable, right? You've, this is about being very talented. It's about creating your own sense of abundance and prosperity. So you have that capability within you. Absolutely confirmation of that, yeah? Let's have a look at the present where Spirit's just saying you're brilliant. <laughs> you're very talented. You can do anything. Guy or girl, we're not gender specific here. Oh, my God. you got the star card. You are a star, darlings. Stepping into the spotlight, unveiling yourself for everyone to see. All right, let's have a look at the near future where Spirit's saying something's going to rush in fast. Dare I say it could be a proposal. <laughs> Beautiful, happy family here. Oh, you're just going to be in temperance. You've got to be in balance. Watch your emotions, yeah. Let's have a look at you juggling so much and then there's this windfall coming in. Um, there's going to be an amazing amount of celebration around it with for you um, in your community. Friends and family are going to be really happy for you. you got the sun coming out. Look at this energy coming in. 
Hello, related to this windfall. Major blessings coming. All right, let's have a look at this energy here, which is either you or someone else who's feeling stuck and needs to transform. Yeah, they're on a brand new fresh start, or it could be you. I've got to feel like it's somebody else's energy, right? So there's, so there's someone connected to you that's going through transformation that's opening them up to a brand new fresh start. Let's have a look at you partnering up with others on a shared vision. Oh, yeah, look, the Ace of Materials. Together you're going to come up with these amazing ideas. So you don't need to do everything yourself. you got the magician, which is saying you can do anything you want, right? Which balls do you want to toss up in the air? Mm, yeah. And you got the three of voices, which is overthinking things, having a bit of a cry, <laughs> feeling sad, feeling hopeless, God knows why. Why, Scorpio? <laughs> oh, that's your shadow side coming out. That's just fear, anxiety, worry, which is unfounded, darling. So we're going to shake it out, shake it out, and we're going to put it face down. We're not having that, right? Pack it up. Pack it up. <laughs> Oh, you can all high five each other and say pack that up we're not doing that we're not doing it <laughs> put a smile on your dial let's have a look at the outcome which is the high priestess yeah you got the fool you just got to take a leap of faith and go after what it is you want mm -hmm. yeah on the bottom of the deck sleepless nights oh scorpio come on all right let's put you some guidance from the nature's whispers oracle looking at the center here where spirit's saying you just need to refine things and there's a soulmate coming in okay these are flying out there's two here are you ready are you ready oh, you got infinite blessings coming in amazing blessings coming in oh my god it's come out with bountiful harvest could you be any more blessed? Could you be any more blessed? Let me hold these blessings up for you. <laughs> Insanely blessed. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Let's have a look at this energy that's transforming over here. Oh, whoever it is, they need to be gentle with themselves. If you feel like that's relating to you, it feels like it's someone else's energy. Uh, let's have a look at the outcome over here where there's the ability to collaborate with others. You take a leap of faith. Mm, you're in deep in contemplation right now. You kind of over, I've got to be honest with you, Scorpio, you're overthinking things massively. Got a massive butterfly in her head. On the bottom of the deck, you've got facing your inner truths. Mm hmm. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Enchanted Map Oracle. <laughs> this is so beautiful. You've pulled flying, right, but there's this gorgeous rainbow-coloured, um, dare I say it looks, almost looks like a unicorn. I think it's just a horse that's flying with wings, which is quite the conundrum. All right, let's pull you up the guidance. Are you ready, Scorpio? It says you have the power to see things from a higher perspective. If you were a bird flying high in the air, what would you see? When you soar above life challenges and opportunities, a new perspective becomes available. Today you have invisible wings that allow you to swiftly bring your circumstances into alignment with your highest purpose. This is a sign that your waiting is over, all your hard work has paid off, and things that you hoped for are no longer beyond your scope. You have the ability to reach for the stars and find one with your name on it. Oh, my God. Spread your wings and soar. The angels are waiting for you. The most blessed reading, the most blessed ending to your 2023, darlings. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, yes. All right, those are your messages. Love to your feedback and comments down below and how this reading resonated with you. Do go and check out your star sign, coffee mugs, journals, task planners, or designed by moi. Uh, you can find them in my Elysium Gallery website. I'll put that link on here. Some of them are also linked to this video. Uh, also, do join us for Friday Lives. This week we're doing one on finding your higher, um, finding your life purpose. Uh, we do have a lot of fun in there. 10 a.m. Perth time, 1 p.m. Sydney. If you're in the U.S., it'll be your day before the Thursday afternoon going into evening. Check world time, buddy. 
And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.